Heavenly Father, today I want to take the time to pray for something that you just moved on my heart to pray when I was listening to Pastor Steve Darby today, Father God, about the prison complex among my race of people, Father God, the black race of people. Heavenly Father, and you have moved on my heart to pray about this situation. Now, Father God, I spent a lot of time praying, Father God, for your deliverance. Father God, for targeted individuals that are being targeted through different types of modern day slavery programs throughout this world, Father God. But today, today, Father God, I want to take the time to pray for my race of people, my black race of people, Father God, including myself as a black woman, that are being targeted as a black race of people by higher powers in the world, Father God, powers to be that should not be in this world and in this nation of America, Father God, that pray against black people, black Americans, Father God, that pray against black people and that target black people in various ways, Father God. I pray, Father God, for your supernatural intervention, Father God. I ask, Father God, that you will, first of all, wake up my black race of people, Father God, and bring them to awareness of how they are being manipulated to sin because the evil powers above, Father God, in the systems, in the wicked kingdoms and systems of this world, Father God, they are making money off of the sins of black Americans of blacks everywhere in the nation of the world, Father God, and even off of Africa, Father God, behind sin, through media, through social media platforms, through TV, sitcoms, Father God, through movies, through music, Father God, through secular music and all, Father God, radio, Father God, and sports, and all, Father God, uh, to get us to sin, to keep us in sin. They make money off of us in the prison systems, Father God, to get us to sin, to be locked up in prison through violence, Father God, through lies, and even through modern day slavery programs, Father God is another prison system of slavery that they target my black race of people and myself as a black woman through covert gang stocking programs, Father God, human trafficking, prostitution programs, and prisons in the nation of America, Father God, and prisons of slavery in our own homes, in our own families, separating our families and keeping us split and divided and keeping us hating each other and killing each other, Father God, by the various manipulative means that the evil rulers have done against blacks, Father God, beyond the slavery days of my ancestors, Father God. We're in a different type of slavery, Father God, today. And it's beyond picking cotton. It's beyond being lynched and beaten, Father God. It's a different slavery, Father God, of the prison systems, of single black women raising their children, Father God, alone, and black men being forced to be out of their homes because they have always separated us, even during the slavery times. And they still are doing it through the welfare system and through the child support systems, Father God, and through drugs, 
Father God, for Micaia, Father God, as well, and through division and discord and hatred among each other and causing us to hate ourselves through the media and behind what they have always projected about us through media platforms, through TV, through news, through newspapers, any type of medium source, Father God. So Father, first I ask that you will bring a quick awareness among all black races of people in the nation of America and in the nation of Africa, Father God, of how we are being manipulated and to stop sinning, to stop sinning, Father God, to stop putting our monies in the devil's bank, Father God, to stop spending, Father God, in businesses where they are capitalizing on our sin and bringing us more and further into slavery, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. I pray that you will help blacks, my race of people, to stop sinning with the drinking, with the fornicating, Father God, with the drugs, with the violence against each other, with the division and hatred and jealousy that we have among each other, the distrust among each other and the black race of people and to stop sinning. And I'm not saying that all blacks are doing these things, Father God, but a lot of blacks are yielding to the devil and being sold out to the devil and loving evil and loving sin. I pray that you break these evil spirits of deception and spiritual blindness off of the minds of my race of people, Father God, everywhere in America and everywhere in Africa, Father God, with your power and your anointing, the power of the Holy Spirit and the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's name, that cause us to see that we are hurting ourselves when we sin and we yield to the devices of the devil. And when we keep sinning against you, Father God, and and not being obedient to the principles of your word, Father God, your law and your word, Father God. And when we rebel against you, Father God, and we have gotten to be so far away from you, Father God, that we are getting so satanic and demonic and so full of demons, Father God, because we have forsaken you and your law and worship other gods, Father God, and hoarding after other gods, Father God, I pray that you bring my black race of people back to you, Father God, that you cause them to see that they are guilty of sin and they have sinned against you and rebelled against you in your law and your word, Father God, and they are, and it's a sin to whore after other gods and, and worship other gods and make other idols, Father God, that we will stop worshiping other gods and making other idols and get out of this witchcraft because a lot of black people are off into the dark occultism of witchcraft voodoo hoodoo father god babylonian egyptian voodoo hoodoo father god so i pray that you wake up black people and know that it's a sin to do all this witchcraft this voodoo hoodoo father god in jesus christ's name so, Father God, I just pray, Heavenly Father God, secondly, that you will execute your judgment and your fiery wrath and vengeance and punishment upon all the higher powers to be that should not be in the nation of America and in the nation, every nation in the world where black people live and in the nation of Africa and the nation of Africa, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, that's oppressing the black race of people, Father God. That's oppressing Judah, Father God. The Judah that's in black race of people. Father God, the Hebrew that's in black race of people. Father God, that's oppressing Israel. Father God, that's oppressing black people. Father God, 
in Jesus Christ's name that's keeping us held down in tyranny and slavery and oppression, Father God, in various ways. I pray that you judge and punish these high-level Satanists and witches and warlocks and evil rulers that oppress the black race of people and that oppress Africans, Father God, and all black races of people everywhere in the world, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name through these tyrannies of imprisonment and slaveries and false accusations and thieveries that steal from us, that use our sin to make money off of us and imprison us and separate us from our families that have done so many manipulative, Father God, things to keep us divided as a black race of people and keep us in anguish and oppression and despair and shame and humiliation, Father God, that we're being a byword and a proverb, Father God, that you would deliver the black race of people, Father God, from out of the hand of Pharaoh, Father God, from out of the hand of Jezebel and Ahab and Balaam and Leviathan, that you would deliver the black race of people out of the hand of the devil that's causing them to want to sin and rebel against you, Father God, and to the hand of you, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, and that you will bring the black race of people to repentance for all the sins that they do and how they mistreat each other and sinning against you most of all, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, and that you will bring these wicked rulers that oppress my black race of people, including myself through this covert gain stocking program, to repentance or if they don't repent most likely most of these old proud rulers evil rulers are not going to repent for the evil stuff that they do against the black race of people father god but i pray that you would judge and punish these evil rulers that oppress the black race of people father god in many many different various ways and very manipulative underhanded ways father god and that has caused us to fall to total destruction behind all the manipulative things that they, these evil rulers have manipulated things through the mediums, Father God, through witchcrafts, Father God, through abuse and torture and satanic ritualistic abuse of all types in Jesus Christ's name against the black race of people and keeping us divided and scattered, Father God, among the black race of people and separating, Father God, the black men, Father God, for what they're doing to the black man and what they're doing to the black woman, Father God, in various ways. I pray that you judge and punish, Father God, these wicked rulers, these wicked people that's oppressing the black race of people, Father God, everywhere in the world, but especially in America, Father God, and even more so in Africa too, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name and in Ethiopia, Africa, Father God, as well, the Ethiopian Jews, the black Jews, Father God, in Africa, in Jesus Christ's name, that you will free your people, Father God, and that you will free us from the spirit, Father God, of deception and spiritual blindness that's causing us not to see what's happening and that you will wake us up to your truth and light of what's happening to us and to stop sinning, to stop sinning against you, to stop wanting what the devil wants us to have, to stop using the devil's devices and giving the devil money, Father God, for the evil businesses that want us to be destroyed and the evil systems and agendas is being done against my black race of people, Father God, to help us to stop being so silly and hully gully with sin, Father God, and stupidity, that you would deliver us from stupidity, Father God, as well, in Jesus Christ's name, and bring us to awareness and truth, Father God, and deep understanding among all the black race of people in the nation of America and in the nation of Africa and all nations of the world where all black people live on this earth, in this world, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Save the black people, oh Lord. 
Save the black people. Oh!